Here's what Pop said, quote, I hate it, but I always have. I've hated the three for 20 years. Now you look at a stat sheet after a game and the first thing you look at is the threes. If you made threes and the other team didn't, you win. If you don't even look at rebounds or turnovers, you don't even care. That's how much impact the three-point shot has and how it's evidenced by how everyone plays. So Scotty, he's basically saying that all the final points of the game kind of fall by the wayside if you can just bury the other team in threes. Do you agree? I, I do agree. I mean, I think that's been a huge advantage for the Golden State Warriors over the last three seasons is the fact that they've been able to shoot the three ball better than any team in the league and we've seen teams like Houston who's emerged a little bit and now we got who the Milwaukee Bucks who's taking the most attempts so the three ball is, is the way that the game is going and if anyone can speak on this uh, Coach Pop can because I'm sure he's probably losing a little bit of his coaching field over there with guys shooting the ball it's more of a more of a free flow game now um, you know when I played in the league uh, three-point shot was important but it wasn't that important in today's game I you got to get up almost five threes a, a quarter yeah. I mean or are you gonna find yourself behind Rachel I seem to remember a very hot night in San Antonio when Danny Green was raining in three really hot <laughs> really hot and then raining in more threes. really yeah. and then really hot bunch it's of other almost threes. as if the air conditioner was <laughs> yes, uh, the Spurs won a championship uh, in large part because they hit threes. Uh, I would just say to Pop, maybe grow the beard back. He's been, he's been cranky you since really he shaved the beard. You really miss that beard. I do, and he's been cranky. By the way, he's been cranky long before he shaved True, the beard. True, but he's been particularly and I say cranky. That as someone who loves said, Greg's uh, crankiness. Know, we all do. But <laughs> he also said that he doesn't think the game has lost its beauty in that same interview. I just disagree. I think the game is beautiful. In fact, his mentor, Hank Egan, who was his coach at Air Force, I had a conversation with him uh, a little while ago, and he said, that, you know, he, he's been coaching since the 60s. He goes, the game has never been more beautiful. So, Pop, get a bottle of wine. Go see Coach Egan. <laughs> Have a conversation <laughs> about the beauty of the game. It'll be great for everybody. Well, I, I, I agree with you on that point for sure. I do, I do understand, though, that there is room for the nuance of, hey, the bludgeon, the hammer of the three-pointer. One thing Pop has been so great at over the decades is finding all those little untucked corners of the game to yes. get an advantage. And it's been fun to watch him do that and those just aren't as available anymore when someone can come sweep you along with a three-point shot. That's what I get it means. That part. He's, he's definitely lost the uh, edge. Well, some when of that. You, when you have two Hall of Famers, David Robinson and then follow with Tim Duncan, those guys made that three-point line very fruitful. That's for, what he misses. His, he misses yeah. those guys. <laughs> so when, when you don't have that 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 magnet there that can yeah. force that that defense to draw in yeah that, that three-point shot does become a little bit more difficult so he definitely don't have those bigs down that, there that, that same way yeah for sure attention.